Hello everyone, welcome back to Technique 4 Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to prevent browser fingerprinting in Loggy Browser. So let's get started. You can actually use a proxy to stay anonymous, right? But still, you have few browser properties that expose your identity. So I'm going to show you properly what happens. For example, this is one proxy that I'm using. So if I open the browser for this profile, as you already know, I am using a proxy. That is why it is showing here that I am from the United Kingdom, but I am not. Now let's search something here. Just like me, most of you will face or have faced this problem. When you are using a proxy, you will start to have this kind of verification. Well, even if you're not using a proxy, but a default browser, it may still ask for a verification. After verification, most of the time, you are good to go. But in some cases, when you are using a proxy, it seems like this verification just never ends. And here in our example, as you can see, like Google can easily detect that you are using an unwanted way to visit their site. Not only on Google, but a whole lot more for advertising platforms or sites who have strong security can easily detect your IP, location, and other info, even if you're using a proxy. So how can we prevent that from happening? Okay, before that, let's try understanding how they detect it with a simple example. So let's go into our default Google Chrome browser and search with Get My Location. And as you can see, there are a lot of sites that are available who shows you your current location based on your IP. Also, if I search to detect my browser fingerprint, here you will see there's a lot of sites that will be appearing and you can use any of them for your experiment. In the same way, we found a site, ipha.com, that gives a lot of data related to IP, location, time zone, and etc. That is why we're using this site, to show you what actually happens, but again, you can use whatever site you prefer. So let me just go ahead and try ipahate.com. As you can see, everything is looking good here. For example, if I go to the location, you can see that I am from Asia, and it's showing all of my details, also for the times. It shows my local time based on IP, and the system based on my current device. Even if you're using a proxy, the local time that is showing on this site is based on the time zone for that proxy's IP. So now let me show you what happens if you use Loggy. Using Loggy, I will open the same site. Now, on my location, you will see that it is showing that I am from United Kingdom. All of these details that are showing are based on the proxy that I am using. But the problem is here under the time zone. As you can see, it is showing two different time. The local time, which is the time for my proxy, it's showing the time based on GMT minus five. And my system time is based on GMT plus 5.30. So the time from my IP or proxy appearing for the time zone, America slash Chicago, and here my system time is based on Indian standard time. So here we need to match the time zones. All I need to do is to change my system time zone to the one showing here for the proxy. Going back to Loggy, you can just edit your profile here. The proxy is located at the time zone America slash Chicago. So we just need to change the time zone for the profile to reflect correctly under the device time zone by matching the time zone for the proxy. One thing, it will not modify your original device time zone, only it will reflect into the browser for this profile. So let me change it here, and please make sure to turn the checkbox on. And next, let's look for the time zone America slash Chicago. So here it is. And that's the first thing that we need to do. Next, click on continue. So now let's open this browser and visit the same site again. And scroll down to see the changes that we have made. And as you can see, I am now from the same time zone, 
my local and system times are now the same, and the GMT are the same, minus 5. Okay, now the next thing is geolocation. Let's open the Google Chrome. And my latitude and longitude are appearing based on my actual IP or the network. That's alright, but the problem is, when I'm using Loggy, as we are already using a proxy, so the location and the latitude and longitude are also appearing based on that proxy. So we need to modify the browser's geolocation property in such a way that it matches with the proxy. You can use any latitude or longitude under the fingerprint control in Loggy. But in our case, we are using a proxy from the United States. Here it is showing where I am currently at, based on my proxy. It will be perfect to use the latitude and longitude that is shown here. So copy this and paste it here to match it with the proxy that I am using. So now the latitude and longitude that my browser reflects will match the location of the proxy. Now the next thing is user agent. So every browser used to have its own specific user agent. Loggy also has it. And when we click the use default, it will reflect here. Let's copy it and paste it to my notepad. Now if you keep the field blank still, the default one will be used. Now let's take a look at the user agent text. As you can see, it's written loggy browser slash 1.2.2. So someone can easily detect that you are using loggy browser. So let's just delete it, including the space next to it. So also consider deleting the portion for electron, including the next space. So I've not saved the modified setup yet. And if we see at the ipa.com under the user agent, we can see the current user agent, Loggy, Electron, and others. And someone can easily identify that you are using a Loggy browser or an anonymous browser. So now that we have modified the user agent, removed the portion for Loggy, now you can use it here. So no one can actually detect that you are using Loggy. Now I'll show you another interesting thing. Let me first close this browser profile and open it again and open the same site again. Now as you can see, there is no Loggy. You can use a specific user agent for a specific browser. For example, you can search your user agent for Safari on Google. Okay, so here it is. Let's just copy it and paste it into the Loggy profile. Save it. Next. Close the browser for the profile and start it again. Now again, if I visit this browser and this same page, you will see the difference. Now you can see it's showing the device as Apple Mac, but actually not. I am on Windows, and here the user agent was also modified. Next, disable canvas fingerprints. Even if you have modified everything here, someone can still detect your fingerprint through canvas. And I will show you how you can detect it. So let me search check by canvas fingerprint on Google. And again, you can see a lot of results. And currently, I am on Google Chrome. Let me use this one, browserleaks.com. And I also recommend you using this one, as it gives the exact results. As you can see, it is detecting my system and is providing a lot of data. In the same way, let's try it on Loggy. Here it also detects a lot of information, and we can actually prevent it from detecting our data. All you have to do is turn this one on and you will be completely invisible for detection. To show you, let me close this browser and open it again and visit the same site. You can see the percentage here at the Google Chrome. It's 
unique. And if I go to the loggy, you will see it is 100% unique. And it will not reflect all the data. Now before we move on to the next, let me remind you that you should not keep something turned on with blank details like this one. It will create a mess. Let me turn this off and show you how it will look like. And now I'll search it up here. So here you will see my display resolution. The width is 1536 pixel and the height is 864 pixels. Now let's search check my display resolution using the Loggy browser. Let's just open the same site on Loggy. So as you can see, the width is 1536 pixel and the height is 864 pixels. Same on Loggy. As you can see, it is the same with the other browser. Now if we modify it on Loggy, it will not make any changes on your actual screen, but just the details that will be shown on the detector. Click on continue, close the browser, and open a new one. And it will detect the details that you have entered here, not the actual resolution that you have. Moving on, we have WebRTC. First, let me show you how it works. Let me search up a checker at Google Chrome. And now again, we prefer the site browserleaks.com for the browser fingerprint test. So let's just open it. And as you can see, it's leaking the IP and some more information. So let's also try it on the Loggy browser. You can see all my actual data here. The WebRTC is also leaking data. To prevent it from happening, you just check the box right here. Again, click on continue, close and reopen the browser. And you will see the changes. It is not reflecting any more data. The next setup is preventing IP leaks through WebRTC. For example, WebRTC is actually hugely used in live video or audio streaming, video calling, and other purposes. So if you turn this setup on, it will modify the core browser and will completely disable IP passing on the browser, unlike just the JavaScript modification. But one thing, please note, there are very few sites like Pinterest.com may not work properly when you turn this on as maybe they need some certain property from the browser to work correctly. We have found it during our own test, so you can ignore this setup if you don't want the core browser modification. Now here you have default browser fonts. WebGL, Audio Context, can also provide some detectable data for your browser that may help to identify you. So just consider disabling them by turning the relevant setup on. And just like WebRTC and Canvas Fingerprint Test, you can use the online detector sites like BrowserLeaks.com to check whether it's preventing properly from identifying you. Also, an important suggestion is that don't do unnecessary changes unless it is required on your setup. Like here, the display resolution we did 500 by 500 that is not a default resolution for any browser. We just need it randomly to show you. We suggest only disabling or modifying the setups as per the requirement. So let's just turn off the display resolution modification for now as we don't need it in our case. But if you need, please turn on and modify as per your requirements. Also, in our case, we don't need to display ourselves as a Mac user. And let's go ahead with the default user agent, so let's keep it black. But again, please modify the setup if you need it there, so no issue with that. So, it's now all good. We modified all the necessary fields to coordinate with the proxy that we use for the profile. We modified the time zone and latitude longitude as per the proxy. Disabled WebRTC, Canvas, and other setup that may link my data. So now we're good to go. Let's hit the continue button. Let's close this browser for the profile and open it again. So let's just search something on Google. So 
primarily, it may show you the verification screen again. So let's do it. This time, it will take a moment to verify. But after that, it will not appear again. So let's do the verification. Now, as you can see, the search results are appearing. So let's make another search on a new tab. And as you can see, the verification screen is not appearing anymore, as it only appears if they find you are accessing their site, their site in some unwanted way. And that is it for today's video. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.